Hey, we're here again. Did you miss us? We missed you. You look so pretty today. Did you hear your hair? Anyway, praise God. We're here. We've been uh, talking about everything again. We got the world all fixed this time. Whoa, band-aids or nothing. It's just we stitched it up. And uh, we've been, uh, we want to bring, you know, how do we walk? That God has given us everything that we need and it, uh, our bodies, all that. Maybe we even find out more stuff about our anatomy and the, the brain and the, all this, how it flows and how we, we're fearfully and wonderfully made and it's just more and more that we're we're supposed to walk as Christ and we have everything within us and around us that allows us to walk as Christ and we don't use it. It's like this one guy said, it's like standing in the middle of the ocean with only, and you're drinking out of a thimble. You know, we're not we're not taking, we should be gulping, that, you know, it says in the book of Acts that in Him, God, we live and move and have our being. So we're breathing God, where everything we eat has got, everything came from God. In the beginning, God, He's all in all, it says, and he's, he, he is all and He's in all. And so everything you eat is, is God, you're eating, and you're partaking, you're breathing, you're drinking God, everything, we're inside the body of God. When it says that we're the body of Christ, He's the head, we're the body. So it says we're also the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we're the temple. So to be and and to be in health, even as your your soul prospers, uh, you know, it, it wants you to be healthy. The word salvation means totally, completely made whole, so so, spirit, soul, and body. And uh, uh, so we, how do we get there? So a lot of times it's our thoughts that corrupt. Even though we're eating right or exercising or whatever, we're still our thoughts. You know, basically in this world with the news and the way we've been taught and the way we've been brought up, that the first thing we do is we see something wrong and we point it out and say that that person's wrong or that organization's wrong or, or whatever. I mean, me, me too. I, but I, I'm trying and I'm thinking how to stop this, that I want to walk in in love, I want to walk in, in gratitude for all that he's given me and, and really believe and understand. I understand and believe for you know 30 years, but the more it just seems like we really have to grasp it that we're not separate from God, that we're part of him, and that his power and energy and the anointing or whatever you want to call it is within us and upon us, and that we are the love of God in this world. There's, and that's, that's the problem has been us um, because we get emotional we uh, emotionalism imaginations stress and all these things we we let get the best of us and like we said our body is created in the image of God and health and everything's already in there and we're supposed to take care of it or know uh, what we need to do to take care of it and it's not just exercise it's just, just not eating right that's part of the problem. It's the fact that when we have these thoughts and emotions, those things get us chemically out of balance. And when you're chemically out of balance, we've got to change how we say something or what we say or what we see. And like Don just said, judging. We judge ourselves. In a lot of things, I, I don't have the knowledge, I can't do this, I can't do that. Or we look at somebody because they don't look like they have things going right, and, and we judge them rather than speak God's word in bypassing that judgment. And, and by judging, that also chemically gets us out of balance. Um, I don't know, so we're, we're learning and we're trying to walk in what it is we're learning. We, we, I don't know nothing, but I, I get information, and that information really just blows my mind by, by what I get. And a lot of times, I don't even know how to present it yet. And I think um, that's what we're trying to say. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's like every word, every thought, everything counts. And without getting religious about it, without getting, you know, the boogeyman's going to get me if I do this wrong or whatever, but just to know that God loves you, and your honor, Jesus did away with sin. It says Romans seven, consider Romans six, consider yourself dead to sin. And then it says somewhere else that He did do away with sin. Everything was taken on the cross. Everything you did do and will do. And and so 
to receive that forgiveness and receive that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus and then that, that, to know that, okay, i got to quit that, you know, ask Him to forgive me, and I move on, I press on towards the high call of God, God, leaving those things that are behind, uh, pressing on. Because right, just what I said is already passed. Now it's a new a new thing, you know, that tomorrow you're not going to be the same as you are today. Your cells even replenish themselves. Your whole, everything is set to make you new every day. And, it, and it's like that, that to think, even you know, doing the dishes, or today I was picking up dog poop, and I was like, why are they doing do it over here? And and it was like, no, you got to think that, oh, you know, this is what I'm doing, and it's okay, because somebody's got to do it. So I'm picking it up and getting it's going to be over with, and everything's okay. But to get into a little bit of a, of a what, upset, irritated thing, and then later that irritation goes on and becomes a, you, you yell at somebody because you didn't deal with that first irritation or you didn't receive that thing you were doing is, it, it's okay. I don't have to say it's great, but it, but it's, a, you know, this is what's happening and it's okay. You know, I mean, it's like I, I seen it when I was at work before, you know, some little irritation would happen and I'd rah, rah, go on another one, rah, rah, and then the third one, I'd blow up on somebody, you know, and, and you look like an idiot for whatever, you know, totally blowing everything out of shape, but you were already ticked off about these other two that you didn't handle. And the third one wasn't even, maybe not as big as the first one, but but you know what I mean? I mean, it's like we need to start thinking, we're just going through life trying to get to Saturday. You know, thank God it's Friday, you know, everybody's working for the weekend, that song, and, and we're trying to save up so we can get to wherever and, and have a party. And it's like we don't even understand who we, that we're made to, we can speak life into people, and we can speak, you know, I set before you this day life and death, choose life. And we're always just the way we, oh, screw that, oh, look at that guy, look at that politician, oh, man, they're rock, 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 And we just, we're creating ugly, you know, life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know, God's word does not return on him void, but it accomplishes everything that he set it out to do. And it's like we're created in his image, so our words, you know, I think we're gods of our environment and we're affecting our family, we're affecting us, we're affecting our health by speaking negatively and we're and we're corrupting the system, the pure, you know, what does it say in, in Proverbs, that the, out of one cistern should not come uh, bad and good water, that's not the word they use, but what do they use, poison and, and pure water. So, I mean, you know, I, I, you know, you'll be cussing and then blessing somebody in almost the same sentence sometimes. and. So I think we need to think about what we're saying. We're just so loose with what we see on TV and basically, you know, what they're preaching in, in the movies and TV is, is basically not good. Uh, if, if you take it the way they're doing it, just, you know, murders and all this stuff and we just become like where it doesn't even matter where somebody gets blown away or, or, or whatever happens. We see so much of it that we get callous to it. And uh, I think we need to start thinking about what's going on in our life. And, and each one of us is, is God over this, what's going on. And we need to realize that. You know, Jesus said, judge not, or you shall be judged. And, and the judgment that you give should come back on you. So anytime you're, you're and being, as some people say, which, you know, I... I agree with it that, that if you see something wrong that that's in you they did you know they're showing if something's stopping you from moving on and and what you want to do if there's an obstacle then that obstacle's there for you to check out what's going on is there something wrong inside of me that I need to correct to get through this obstacle that we you know we were taught in the charismatic movement or the the churches that we went to to come against that obstacle I bind you devil in the name you know, and, and it's like, no, you just gave it life and you give a place to the devil. So you don't give the thing life and acknowledge that it exists, but you say, you know, Holy Spirit, show me what I need to do to get where I want to go, to get what I need to have, what to get what prospers me and not what infects my family and myself with, with irritation and ugly and arguments. Very true, very true. It's like um, our words, as Don just said, have the power of life and death. So we, we see, we hear, 
because you're you're watching TV, listening to the radio, reading uh, books that give you uh, give you what the author's characteristics are, but we could basically speak life into our body. Um, and the biggest thing that brings fear in the people and is when they're diagnosed with cancer of any kind. They take the word of the person who spoke it that brings death to them because it brings fear. But we have the option that we can speak life, that that cancer is already healed and doesn't exist anymore. It's not um, we deny that we had it, but, but what we do is deny its right to even, to even entertain it of any kind. And that's what we're trying to bring to you is the, the love of God through the Word, His words. And we're trying to imitate that, what, what we have received uh, from studying, from uh, digging deeper into the Word of God and finding the nuggets of truth that belong to us. Because the Bible says that God's Word is not hidden from us, but it's the nuggets are hidden for us to find. And that's what a study does. And whether that covers the whole subject we're trying to bring to you today or any of it, we're, we're trying to speak love, bring love, because that's a higher frequency. Yeah! But, uh, you know, I mean, and, and you have to you have to realize that you already are, even though you're studying and you're and you're seeking. You have to realize that you are, even though you don't see it or you don't acknowledge it in you because you don't know about it, it's still there. See, God did everything in six days, and He rested on the seventh day, and it says that He was for that we're supposed to enter into His rest. That it's already all this stuff is already done. I am fearfully and wonderfully made, even though the you know, like He was saying, the cancer, it said. It said it's not that our body can get rid of that. You know, the, the new cells uh, can rise up. Your immune system can rise up. That the body is made to heal itself. So it it can, even though they tell you you got something, it doesn't mean that you have to buy man's idea. Because let God be true, and every man a liar. Even I've said it before. Even us. Even me. You lie to yourself. I mean, sometimes you. And we, he was said earlier, judging yourself, forgiving yourself is one of the biggest things because, and to understand that you're beautiful and that you're called of God and anointed and set apart. And then every time you walk by a mirror, you just say, man, he did a good job on this one. And, and that, that I am full of wisdom. I'm full of the mind of Christ and I am healed and whole and I walk in divine health and I have divine wisdom and I can uh, speak all things and my tongue is a ready writer. I, you know, I can talk good, I can sing good, I can speak good, I can, you know, uh, I'm going to read this to you because I didn't do it right. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. With the measure you use it, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at the speck or sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank or the telephone pole in your eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your eye? You hypocrite, first take the plank out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. You know, it's like we're, you know, we, uh, you know, whatever, I used to drink and smoke and run around and be a membrane, and, uh, and, uh, and, and then you get, you come to the Lord, and you get all holy, and now that I'm, you know, I'm born again, I'm going to heaven with those poor people over there. And we make it us and them, you know, and you just separate that every we're, we're part of everybody. Everybody came from God, we're in the body of God, so if that person is not functioning properly, you're being hurt by it. And then by you bad mouthing them, you're double hurting them. And you're killing your brother with your words. You, you need to go somehow bring that person up to the frequency that you learn to move at instead of being in the low frequency of depression and and I'm just gonna go eat worms and howl at the moon and drink a bottle of jack and die. And, and it's like that's, you know, I mean, the world promotes all the drugs and the, the pharmaceutical stuff that, that, that all it does is mess up your your flow. It messes up your equilibrium. It messes up your, to be in balance, spirit, soul, and body. So it may get you through the day, but then you can't sleep because of the pill jack jabs. So you got to take a, a sleeping pill and then that messes up something else. And all this stuff that's not natural is messing up our bodies. So we got to get back to find out 
what is what do we need to take and that's where we're, we're we're starting to learn about salts which I never even really knew that there was a bunch of different ones but there's different things that we're learning and the, and the more you dig the more the it opens up when, when the when the pupil is ready the teacher will appear you know I mean it's like that that's a true saying when, when you start looking at stuff and going what's that all about all of a sudden you find out or what's that? What does God mean by that? What does that scripture mean? It's no longer I that live, but Christ lives through me, yet I live. What does that mean? And all of a sudden, all these doors start opening to me. About five, six, whatever, seven years ago, things started changing because I looked at that scripture. He lives through me. I'm dead, yet I live. And God, Christ, lives through me. And it's like, how does that work? My mind doesn't know. All I know is that it works, and he wants to touch people through you and he wants you to want to help people and he wants not all this stuff where you stand there and take a picture with your camera of somebody getting beat to death he wants you to get in there and help we were talking about that earlier to help you see somebody needs shoes get them some shoes maybe you need to go find a friend each one of you throwing five bucks to get them some shoes and we need to start helping people we need to quit this this I got mine you know I mean it's just it's not right we can move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were just uh, bringing you some of the information that we're getting that's exciting and it helps open doors because we've been blinded both through our eyes and our hearing of what we've let in to these bodies into our mind. And most of it is, like I said earlier, we've been programmed by TV, friends, family, programmed by the radio, programmed by everything we've let into our door gates, whether it be ear gates or eye gates, and it's affected us, and Don said, our sphere of influence, our family, and friends, and it's affected us by how we talk. And that's what I'm trying to bring you in a way that we'll do it in love. We, we need to raise it up. I mean, it's like everywhere you, you know, uh, I don't even want to talk bad, but, but you know, all the stuff that's going on in the world and and, and the government, and, uh, and uh, I can't even talk anymore. Everything you say will be negative because it, it but anyway, uh, it says, see the connection you share with all human beings in the heart. See the one you have ought with as your child. You know, uh, when you, you see this person and they're messing up and you think they're the biggest, I'll say membrane again, there is, and but you look at it from their point of view or you look at it as their child. Have you ever started, I thought about today, uh, hugging a guy from ISIS, uh, hugging a Muslim, that, that basically the way I understand it, jihad, if you're not a Muslim, it says in the Quran that they, they want to take you out. So if you see them and you see the light of God going in with them, let's, let's change them through love and through, you know, I mean, man, it's, it's hairy out there. And I think the only through love conquers all. Now, you know, we've been taught like as men to, you can't let them talk that way to you. You go in there and you want to kick butt. You don't let that guy treat you like that. Man, he just disrespected you. And, and it's like, and we, and first thing enters your brain is I just ought to slap the snot out of them. You know, and it's like, that's not right. I don't care if I was taught that way or the people I hung around I grew up with were like that. And I was like that. You know, in a bar or getting a fight or, or you know, whatever. Uh, I mean, it's like, what the heck did I get out of that but bruises? You know, I mean, even if you win, you get bruises. <laughs> and uh, it's, it's time for us to change what we've been. We're not animals. Act like that they are animals. You know, we don't need those thinking badges. But, that was a whole movie. But, you know, to bring, that we are connected to everybody and that we love them. And if we bring them up to the frequency, love is a higher frequency than fear or depression. And that's, we can change things and show them that there's a hope and give them a hope. Faith, hope, and love three of these, and but the greatest of these is love. We gotta go. Terry's gonna bring us out. That's today's message for you is, let's... He's excited again, you know? 
let's do the love thing. That that's the frequency that I want thing. to operate in. I want to. I, w I want that to come forth. I don't want to, as Don said, judge people. Um, and it's very hard because we can do it just walking up and, and looking at the way somebody walks and, and judge them. And I don't want to be judged. I don't want a brick thrown through my glass windows. <laughs> people in glass houses shouldn't throw rocks. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good one. Be blessed. You are part of the living God within you. Arrivederci.